So make sure it don't go in your eye. <laughs> nah, I did. Let the food. Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. Hopefully, you watched the last vlog and you saw that Kareem and I took a trip from North Carolina the Triangle area all the way to New York up in the mountains by way of Newark, New Jersey. So it was a lovely flight, even though it started super, super early in the morning. But yeah, hopefully you watch that vlog. And now we're going to catch up on my first full day there, um, spending it with my brother Bashir and also Nana, my mom. As you may recall, it's like a two hour drive almost two hours from Newark, New Jersey to where my brother Bashir lives in the mountains in New York State. So it's a really beautiful drive. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful in the summer and it's really beautiful in the winter when everything is covered with snow and the roads are super windy and it's just like a drive up, 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 up the mountain, literally. So anyway, we had an amazing time. And again, this is our first full day there with Bashir and Nana. Off the subject. Good afternoon, you guys. Good afternoon. We are in New York in Uncle Bashir's house. And the plan for today is that apparently he has a wasp nest um, right in front of his house and he wants us to witness him getting rid of it so uh, I don't think this is gonna be a good idea but he apparently has a suit and so we're gonna see how this works out All right, but um, yeah you want to put your suit on put but suit suit here's the issue how can I record him doing it without getting bit so he's got suit. a suit on I'm outside with nothing no protection and I'm supposed to film how's that gonna be I don't know that just doesn't sound like a good idea I feel like I need to stay inside and record him through the window or something <laughs> but my brother Bashir wants some excitement so we're gonna see <laughs> and I hope a little drama and I hope it doesn't involve an ER visit when one of us gets bit <laughs> we're not gonna get bit okay Kareem you're coming outside too so here's Bashir looking all like ready for work how is that gonna help me this way your arms are protected how is that gonna help me? Just my arms You're are protected. Covered. You're fully covered. No, I'm wearing a dress. Okay, okay let's show you what I'm wearing. Thing. I'm not seeing anything. Does this look like I'm wearing something that's gonna protect me from bees or wasps? Absolutely well, not. You can put them in a trance with your dance. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> my dance. <laughs> hey bees, don't dance. bite me, I'm dancing. <laughs> and where did you get this, Bashir? Of course, online. Okay. Reason like who people. does that? Well, Why, reason, which regular person does that? The main, well, you know, where I am. And the main reason is because the property next to me, we have bee owners and they have mm. a bee farm. Mm. And fortunately, they're not all contained. So sometimes when I'm doing my mowing my lawn or doing yard work, they hear. So I need uh, protection as well. And okay. so I decided to do my research and invested in something that would protect me from those guys, especially since I like to wear my colognes. Which city boy you see in this thing? Oh my goodness. And my lotions, which they seem to like the sweet smell of. So it's got a hat, Ooh, it's got hat, like, yeah. Which gives the it's space got a mesh to breathe. In front. And for additional protection, mm -hmm. it comes with these sleeves. Wow. Because, you know, bees are very smart. Exactly. Bees are very smart. Bees and, and wasps. They're going to, uh, they're going to be, when they see you with that camera. Uh -huh. The bees and wasps, when they see me with the camera, what? Well, I guess they're going to be uh, posing for their close-up. Huh. We'll see. We'll see, folks. Hopefully, it'll just be a quick process. Yeah. And no, uh, no visit to the ER. 
Here's Kareem chilling on his laptop. Hi, Say hi, did you have a good sleep? No. <laughs> it was kind of cold, right? It was kind of cold. Nana has the house feeling like an igloo. We're out on the deck. <laughs> so Bashir is going to his uh, shed to get his smaller ladder because he's got this big one over here, but this one's too tall. This one is more for two story. So, hmm. And again, this is all of his property, so much. Hopefully you saw the last vlog. Um, you saw that I'm in New York. I had a meeting today. I don't know. I don't know about this plan. I did not know about this plan. I don't know about this plan. So he's looking at it right now. I should go to the back, right? I don't know. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see. Do you see that round thing up there? I'm trying to be far away from this. Oh my god, this is not good. Let me walk the hell away from here. No, 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 I'm not coming up for no close up. <laughs> yeah, you need a support. No, 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 no. I am a good spot away. I'm wondering whether I should move to the side because you're about to aggravate them. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I guess you blocked them, right? It looks like you blocked them with whatever you just sprayed. Wow, it foams up. Oh, Lord. Wow, I'm actually impressed. Just make sure it don't go in your eye. Oh, my God, just, it's, just, it's just bugging me just to see that, even though I'm so far away. <laughs> I'm trying to move back. Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> there's one, there's one still flying around. No, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. I don't know. I don't want that kind of drama anyway. So it looks like some of the foam falls off and then he shoots them again. I know, right? It's kind of scary when he sprays. Let's see if I can get right into what the house looks like. The so Bashir was serious. He got two of these. Hornet and wasp killer. Right. Wow, so it looks like it neutralizes them. Kills returning insects, so when they try to come back, Yes, I am far away because <laughs> we are not trying to get bit. But it's so green out here now. I wish you could have seen it in the winter time, but hopefully if you watched our vlogs before you did see it. Ew. 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 That's kind of gross to watch. Ew. Really? Yeah, those are definitely not bees. Those are wasps. He didn't have to bag it, right? It just kind of melted away the house. Or melted away their house. So here's part of their house, right? Is right. that it? Almost looks like paper. Right. And then here's... Telling. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it's not as pretty as a bee's hive. Honeycomb. Honeycomb, yeah. but... Look at all the dead wasps in there. And the unhatched eggs that they've been harvesting. Oh, wow. Tell them so far, this was successful, right? Yeah. yeah <laughs> no drama. No EMS. No EMS, and he thinks that's a bad thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> these guys will move on eventually. Either they'll retry to uh, rebuild 
there, but I don't believe they will because even if they touch it, they'll be poisoned. Um, so there's still a few flying around trying to figure out what the hell happened to their house. All right, so what's next on the agenda so of the, house project? The next thing over here around the bend. We started to restore it, but I haven't actually, to be honest, I haven't finished because right. I mean, the frame, the main frame is done. But then I thought, I said, well, damn, if I spent that much time and invested in this, I might as well do the do chair. Do the chair, right. And also do the chain. It's got the chain, yeah. Because the chains, you can see they're kind of... Kareem, do you remember this? Yeah. <laughs> you do? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I, mean, I didn't see it when we first walked around. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Remember sitting on it with like dim, uh, the dogs, the little dogs. Yeah. All right. So we're back in the house and more gadgets. Sitting up to chop some trees. He's gonna chop some trees to make some space for my. Uh, portable shed that's coming oh yeah whenever it arrives yep i'm kind of sad he's gonna chop down a few trees even though the property has so many mm -hmm. but these trees have like flowers on them i can always um at some point so what is this we're putting on our leg so these are shin guards to guard you know when you're when you when you chop down a tree or whatever it is piece of lumber and most of the time most accidents happen when the person that's using this tool mm -hmm. ends up pointing downwards and chopping towards the ground towards oh, the feet. Okay. sometimes the chain kicks back mm. and it, it, it gives like a whiplash and you can you know, it's just it can be messy and it's very dangerous and it's not going to be one or two stitches it's going to be about reattaching a leg so i don't want to i don't want to that, risk that what that's about gets caught in the teeth of the chainsaw it jams it up wow so these are apparently called chaps to protect his thighs this is a whole uniform setup yeah because you're, you're dealing with a gas powered chainsaw so yeah it's nothing to uh, sneeze at right so this house has caused him to have to buy a lot of other <laughs> yeah industries that wouldn't have dabbled into right but he's one of those diy's he'll do it himself versus yeah having to pay some expensive yeah, service you know, i know my limitations what i can can't do and if i if i can help it right i try to do it myself yeah I guess I'm kind of the same way, but not these manly things. I'm not out there with no chainsaw either. It's not a manly thing. I kind of sexist because they have <laughs> yeah, it's a, a little smaller, sexist. Yeah, they have smaller chainsaws that are built for any individual to use. It's just about your size. Right. You can handle. Look at the back of this thing. It looks like he's going into Mortal Kombat. Wow. That is snap, 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 snap. Oh. Is this a freaking horror movie? Like I know. Movie We're about to be in a horror movie. Of course, you hate you. Say hello. hello you just finished your... Oh. I need to have something to eat. Didn't you just eat already? I haven't eaten anything. Why? I don't, because there's nothing for me to eat. Oh my God, here we go again. This woman has gained weight. And she's talking about there's nothing for her to eat. Well, what is there to eat? Show me what. I guess I could eat toast. I can't eat eggs because that eggs I had yesterday gave my body the itch. So. We have Angus steak. Porterhouse Angus steak. And this one. And then that one. So clearly there is food. But I mean, look look at the price of, of, of that. What's wrong with it? $22 oh, just wow. for this. Oh, wow. And that's 16. Once upon a time, that'd be eight dollars, and this would be about ten. Wow. What are you doing? I like watching you because I don't see you enough. Gosh, you're doing like a show now. Yes. Just constantly harassing you. Constantly. Get to North Carolina. Nobody will be right harassed. Right. That's why you have your whole tribe. Her whole tribe of. People who used to work with her are supposedly coming to North Carolina. Only to visit. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have any tribe that I work with going to be living with me. Mm. They're living by myself. And, and you're I, looking forward to that? Yes, very much so. You guys hear that now, right? Puh, I can't wait for when she's lonely or complaining about North Carolina's heat. Because if you think this is hot, North Carolina is really hot. The city, they told me, New York City is, was 100 degrees last week. Oh, wow. Yeah, when it was 88 up here. Wow. So, yeah, that's, yeah. She said it was 100 like going to work last week. Hmm. So... And then, um, I guess I'm used to that heat anyway, because New York City had, every year we have this problem. And getting in the subway is just horrendous. Anyway, by the way, last night it felt like an igloo. I felt like a popsicle because that's how cold you have the place. No, Literally, I had to go in the cabinet and open up a brand new, um, brand new comforter to put on the bed. Normally, I would care that it was blue and not not my style, but last night I thought, who cares? It's a man's comforter, but yeah, I need something. Yeah, it was freezing. I thought to myself, I could get up and change the thermostat or get up and complain, but no, I'll be a good guest and I'll just freeze my ass off and uh, <laughs> just find some extra layers. So here's my favorite view. You remember during the winter time, um, Bashir put some of this like netting. It's like magnetic, so you can go in and out, and then you know you don't have to worry about mosquitoes or bugs. And then it just snaps close. I mean, it kind of takes away from the window, but you know it's functional, and uh, it's the kind of thing you need when you have a huge backyard with tons of wild turkeys that come by and deer and all kinds of wildlife so but it's a great entertaining deck and I'm gonna try to do a little something something over in the corner make it pretty because right now it's just bare um, and as you can tell a lot of the house still has things that need to be unpacked or moved to the basement because he has a lot of storage and sorting things between um, his stuff, my mother's stuff. So like this is my mom's TV in case you're wondering, it's wrapped up in a blanket. That's before he decided to get the ginormous TV that he has. Have you seen that obnoxious TV? <laughs> that, it's huge. Turn it on. You want to sit and watch? No, that's uh, I put it there because is, of the solar panel. This is Nana's uh, fun, but see, it's quite skinny. And I mean, it's huge, you know, the technology is amazing now. Look how skinny the TV is. So it's literally about the width of my finger. So apparently this is where he plans to put the shed, right? So that's why these small trees or small hedging plants have to go. I guess they're really tiny trees. Oh, we got even uh, earmuffs and a proper, proper helmet. For a coaster? No, to put drinks on? No. 
Tampa's shotgun. Tim and Maria, and sometimes Khalid, they mm -hmm. just be out there digging, playing. Is Khalid very curious with nature? Uh, when he was young. When he's older. It was pretty hot, and you could tell you could really burn some calories doing that. Um, it's it's quite a bit of work. Anyway, Kareem and I just watched. It would have been too much work for Kareem to put on the gear, and you know you got to know what you're doing, or else it would be very dangerous. So Kareem and I just watched. And also, it was his first day there, so he was just taking it all in, looking at the property, and just looking at all the things that Bashir was doing. I definitely felt a little sad to see some of those trees come down. Look at all the beautiful flowers on them. So we're gonna take it inside. Got my bouquet of flowers. Are you put in the vase? vase, yeah, and some water. And this is his driveway. It's a long driveway. And long, windy roads. And he's got several vehicles on the property. So that's why he wants a whole big garage storage area for all the equipment he's acquired. So we're back in the house taking a little water break and I get to harass Nana a little bit. She's all like, I don't want to be on camera. Well, anyway, <laughs> we're going to see her on camera. So yeah, the air in the mountains is very dry. So you got really got to drink a lot to stay hydrated. Bashir was very tired at this point and the heat. <laughs> this is the scary attic. taking the bee outfit up to the attic. Kareem, you're better than me. You're not scared. You're not scared. It's old homes. Oh, that's where you're gonna start. You gotta go, go further, go further. Go further, he had me going further. No, go further. Well, first of all, why you got flip flops? <laughs> no, he's not yet. Okay, now he is. You can stand, it for sure says. Wow, Kareem, wow, you're brave. Let me see if I can step back up on here. It's hot, right? Oh my God. Is it scary up there? Oh, there's a light. Yeah, he got the light now. When we first came, we didn't know there was a light up there. Oh, we couldn't fight it. All right, come down. Let me come down. Watch your step. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> I play too much, I know. <laughs> Across Bashir's lawn, see here's the driveway. He has put up a solar panel with cameras. Oh, I see the box with the camera on the bottom. Okay, anyway, yeah, here's the, oh, here's the camera. No one is going to see it. If you don't live here, you wouldn't see it. You know, look how it blends in. And then here is the solar panel. And then now, he's about to put up a sign. No trespassing, because you got people around here that will take liberties. Might have to, use maybe a... Might have to dig a hole. The ground is hard, is it too soft? hard. It is soft. It is how cool is that? Look straight across. Can you see the camera? See how it blends in, blends into the pole? Like, look, that is pretty cool. It really does blend in with the pole. This is like my favorite giant tree. Just look at this giant tree. And then he's walking towards the shed. The sun has gone down, so it's kind of comfortable now. And there's a little bit of a breeze. feel like I'm in the country. Well, I really am. <laughs> country, mountain country. He had to go get another tool, so he's back at it. Hmm, I guess it is a little tougher, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard. It's not like, like 
You know what y'all need? The little, what's the little sneakers? What's not sneakers? The little, the brown Timberlands. Is it Timberlands you call them? Yeah, the Timberlands. The little tough shoes. Go. Your beautiful tree. I think, yeah, Kareem will be climbing up on the tree. Kareem, will you climb up on the tree? Look at Nana! <laughs> ah, she's doing exactly what I would do <laughs> without seeing me. She's doing the little dance and twirl. This is my favorite tree, Mother, or one of them. This giant oak. Giant. This has to be, my God, this has to be at least 50 years old. At least 50 years old. If not older, yeah, right? They go to be over 100 From 1953 till now? No. Wow. 1953, the house, but not the trees. The trees. The trees. There. Oh, you think the trees were here before the house? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Wow. And the house was from 1953? Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. He's not a kid. She keeps telling me he's a kid starving. Grandson. Little Kareem. You don't even know his <laughs> Kareem's not a kid anymore. <laughs> Little Kareem. All I see him is on his knees trying to crawl mm -hmm. in the space. And with that laugh, that's what yes. I always remember about that Kareem, his laugh. laugh. Yeah. He had a powerful laugh like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Nana didn't want the trespassing, no, yeah. no trespassing side. She thinks it's not neighborly. No, it's not. It's not neighborly. Where are you going? To get the mail. Oh. Oh, she's going to go get the mail. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was coming to pick mint. So this is totally edible, right? You don't use any pesticides. We're looking at a cat straight ahead. Oh, yeah, she looks like a friendly cat. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. She's coming to me. Come on. Let's see who she's gonna come to me or Kareem. Uh, oh, she doesn't like the mint. No, I'm not get touching your butt, cat. They like right on top of the tail. What? Like to be touched right on top of the tail. Really? No. Right, so that she can come scratch me. Ah, she's going to be sure. Look, y'all. This was um, the wasp little comb that was up there, or part of it with the eggs. I'm not gonna touch it though. Okay, we're in the back of the house. Big deck. For dinner, we had the steak that Nana had cooked. She seasoned it really well and served it with rice and a vegetable stew. It was really delicious. I was quite impressed, Nana, considering she doesn't cook as much anymore, but she should, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Look out for part three, and next time we'll be going to Chinatown and Little Italy, I believe. So look out for that, and we'll see you Sunday. Bye! Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye.